Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty by Trish. Today I am going to do a review on two products. One is new and one is new to me. Excuse me. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and put some of my Miracle Blur on my face so that can be setting in. Oops. Excuse my nails and please excuse the background. We were getting ready for to set up for Zoe's birthing area in our bedroom and my husband came in. Long story short, he had to replace our bathroom floor. <sighs> Seriously, <laughs> we're not even going there. But yeah, I'm reviewing, like I said, two products. One is new, one is new to me. The new product is the Real Techniques Your Base and Flawless Miracle Complexion, or Complexion Sponge. And this is the packaging. And this was $5.99 on um, Ulta.com. And this is the sponge after it has been saturated. So you can see quite the size difference. And this is so soft and giving and flexible. I really, I really like that. I had been using the imposters. <laughs> now, of course, these don't have water, but this was my imitation beauty blender. And yeah, I did order a real beauty blender and I could not believe the softness um, when I did wet it down. It was crazy. Uh, I will never use an imitation again. This, where's, oh, I got a two pack. Where did I get these? Amazon. We had two for $22, I believe. Okay, so this is the dry beauty blender. This is the wet beauty blender. This is the imitation, and it's stained, imitation beauty blender. Now, see, I mean, you can tell by my finger, I am seriously putting pressure to get that to go down like this. This crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, this is in the garbage. So let me put this little guy back and put this back. Now let me see what foundation we're going to use today. I have been having fun with different foundations and you guys saw me put the Miracle Blur on my face. Um, so I'm just going to use this Revlon Age Defying foundation. I really don't hear a lot about this on YouTube, so I don't know. And before we start, I must get my hair out of the way, so I'll probably just put a boatload of foundation in it. Okay, so on one side of my face, I'm going to use the same foundation. I'm going to use the Real Technique what is it called? Miracle Complexion Sponge. Okay, and I'm just going to dab a little bit on the flat side right here. And when I watched the demonstration, she actually did not, when she was applying it, oh my gosh, I forget the name of the girl that invented these that made the, well, you all know how I am with names. She, when I watched her video before I ordered it, she applied it like this with the flat side. You could use the pointed end to get in there like that. 
so soft unbelievable difference i will never buy an imposter again crazy and i don't think they're trying to make this an imposter of the beauty blender because it is i mean look how different with the flat side versus the round so And that just put it on so nicely. It's unreal. Now she did say, and I believe I'm doing this right. You guys can research the video and tell me. If you did want a little extra coverage or you had problem areas, pores that you did want to camouflage, you could take it and do the stippling motion that most people do use with the Beauty Blender. And that that would melt that right into your skin. And it's so nice to work around the eye area. I have a box under here that is driving me crazy. I'm sorry. And if you have some spots, just take your little bit of concealer or extra foundation depending on what the spot is and work that in there like that okay so you can definitely tell the difference so same foundation beauty blender this is also very nice huge difference and I'll, I'll be, I mean, I'm a very blunt, blunt, honest person. When I first started seeing girls that had the beauty blender and they said, oh, the imposters are nothing like it. You have to have the real beauty blender. I thought, sure you do. I'm just being honest. So I went for, I was ordering something on Amazon and like if I spent just a little bit more money, I got free shipping on my whole order. And I forget what it was. Oh, my camera bag. And so I thought, well, because I was just getting these in. I thought, you know what? I'm going to look and see. I need a little more foundation. I'm going to look and see if they have any that are reasonable and I got that two pack for like I said I think it was $21 or something which wasn't too bad I didn't think and I did want a second layer on this side as well Now I think tomorrow I will try to apply this in a stippling motion when I first do it. Let me just kind of, the sun is playing havoc on my filming. Can you guys tell the difference in my pore size? So, and I am noticing my pores seem a little bit smaller on the Beauty Blender side. And I think it is because I did this instead of going in and using a stippling motion the first time. Let me see if that makes a difference. I don't know exactly the skin type of, why can I not think of her name, that did the real technique. Yeah, it might make a difference if, like I said, I use a stippling motion the first time. I'll try and see. Other than the pore size, um, I think the results are pretty much the exact same. And I'm happy with both of that. So, yeah, if so, if you are in the market looking for a really close comparison 
I would go the $5.99 for the Real Technique. And you're going to get almost the same exact application. Like I said, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wipe this off. So you just side like, really? Just off that area right there. I love everything Real Techniques. Um, it claims high definition results, online tutorials make you the expert. And I guess that's what I saw. And, you know, maybe it's just my pores. I don't know. So I'm going to try this again with the stippling motion instead of the way I saw it. Okay, so I went back in, I wiped off this side, and instead of using this flat side, um, I stip I went back in, and instead of swiping on with the flat side, I actually stippled, and then I flipped it and did some more stippling, and so now the results are the same exact. So the stippling works better for me, not necessarily for you guys. I have really large pores, and combination skin throughout the year summertime extremely oily so this is like right on the money um, but if you do have larger pores I would stipple versus um, brushing it on with um, this so definitely worth checking out $5.99 at Alta. So yeah, check that out. Great item. Love it. Thanks guys.